Now, one of those districts is Abington, where the school board just voted to mandate masks when school starts in a few weeks. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is in Abington, where parents are feeling the trickle down effect this evening. Alicia. And Yuki, that vote just coming down. The board did vote to approve the current plan, which does include a mask requirement for all students and staff. Tonight's meeting drawing widespread attention, including from the president of the Black Doctors Consortium, Dr. Stanford, who has children attending school in the district. I'm going to ask, out of respect of the people who are seated next to you, that you do remain masked. Tension started before Tuesday night's Abington School Board meeting even began when some in the crowd refused to wear a mask. Multiple people are not wearing their masks and they may choose not to be vaccinated. However, that impacts my life. That impacts my children's lives. The public debate included comments from parents, both over the phone and in person, about the board's current health and safety plan for getting students back to school safely this fall. What I'm hearing is that whether you're vaccinated or not, you're not affording me or my child any difference. No one knows what is best for their children than the parents and grandparents. I think it's important that it be consistent. And that the board's health and safety plan fully aligned with the county's recommendations. Key sticking points focused on mask mandates as well as quarantine and e learning options, especially when the current proposal does not include a proof of vaccination, all of which has left many parents frustrated. I don't know why we're being forced to choose sides, mask or no mask, but I just think safety first. I think it's just a tough situation. I think it stinks. Um, I don't want my kids in masks all day, but. If those are the rules, those are the rules. And again, the board just voting the rule will be masks will be in place come the first day of school here within the Abington School District. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that.